Hello, I'm Sarah Thompson Copsey, and on behalf of Legal Futures, I'd like to welcome you to today's commercial property update, March 2021. We've got a number of cases that we're going to be looking at today. In fact, we're looking at nine cases, and at the very end, I'll just do a very quick roundup of where we are on COVID-19 and the sort of extensions of time. Um, so playing into the uh, Coronavirus Act uh, to 2020 and um, the um, Corporate Insolvency and Governance Act 2020. So just elongating the time periods that we already had um, as a result of those acts uh, concerning um, landlords' rights to forfeit, exercise CRA and deal with insolvency, for example. Uh, so we'll deal with that very briefly at the end. But in the meantime, we're going to be looking at a number of cases. Um, the first few cases are really problems for landowners and problems for developers. So we're going to be looking at a case on Town and Village Greens, a case on exercising an option to purchase development land at a reduced price, a couple of cases on restrictive covenants, and a case on easements, uh, in fact, riparian rights, uh, but otherwise easements to discharge water, if not riparian rights. And then we'll be looking at some service, uh, some lease cases, all to do with commercial leases, um, obviously. Uh, so looking at um, the McKinsey case and um, whether or not the landlord had charged McKinsey the right proportion and how a landlord needs to justify if it does, how it uh, apportions out service charges and the costs of such proceedings. We'll be looking at a useful case on repair and the word, the meaning of the word condition, so backing up the Credit Suisse and BGAS case. We'll be looking at an appeal on what is meant by waiver of the right to forfeit. Um, and we'll be looking at, very briefly, a case on opposing renewal under the 54 Act and really why the case went to appeal and what it is you need to think about from that case in dealing with it at first instance to avoid the necessity of then an appeal perhaps even being vaguely thought of. 